Assalamu alaikum. In the next lecture, I will start explaining ECMO from the basic till ECMO troubleshooting. And this is the first lecture concern ECMO circuit. Whatever the type of ECMO, which is veno-arterial or veno-venous, the ECMO circuit is considered as a closed circuit. The blood will come from patient to the pump and from the pump to the patient. There is no reservoir in the ECMO circuit. This is in contrast to cardiopulmonary bypass, which is used during cardiac surgery, where there is a large reservoir drained the venous blood from the circulation, regardless the pump flow. Principle of ECMO circuit design should be simple, no multiple connection, suitable for long-term support, which achieved by surface coating to increase the biocompatibility, small surface area, minimal blood surface interaction, portable, small priming volume, so decrease the blood and the blood transfusion to the patient, high oxygen and CO2 exchange, so the oxygenator should exceed the oxygen demand for the patient, easily adaptable to wide variety of the patient. ECMO circuit component, cannula, pump, oxygenator, heat exchanger, gas blender, flow monitor, and pressure monitor. In this picture, the most important two components of the ECMO circuit, the pump and the oxygenator. The deoxygenated blood will, will take in by the pump pushing to the oxygenator, where the oxygenated blood will come out to return back to the patient. Also here, there is the sweep gas and pump console, heat exchanger, which all of this will be explained later. The first part in the ECMO circuit is a cannula. And to describe cannulation process and the cannula type, it will have a separate lecture. But now we will mention the names of the cannula, which is taking the blood from the patient to the ECMO circuit, which is named drainage cannula. And the one who taking the oxygenated blood from the circuit to the patient, it's called return cannula. Whatever the type of ECMO, veno-arterial or veno-venous, the drainage cannula is the cannula taking the blood from the patient, and the return cannula is the cannula taking the blood from the circuit to the patient. The second most important component of the ECMO circuit is a pump, and the pump has two connections, one from the drainage cannula into the pump, and the other out from the pump to the oxygenator. How does the pump work? It will work by creating the negative pressure in the circuit. This will generate force driving the blood from the patient, then oxygenator, then return back to the patient. So, which type of the pump will be used? A rural pump or centrifugal pump? It will depend on local experience and availability and economics. These two types of pump, centrifugal pump and rural pump. This diagram explains the rural pump. This is silicon tubes where the blood will be in and the blood will be out and there is occlusion, the occlusion of the pump. Ruler pump, it works by splitting the blood through compressible tubes. Rulers force the blood through peristaltic motion to the other side. It's preload dependent, driven by gravity as a result of decrease the preload in hypovolemia or hemorrhage, there is increased risk of cavitation. After load independent, and that means there will be risk of circuit rupture in case of hypertension, for example. The flow is determined by pump revolution per minute, and also the diameter of the tubes. The second type is centrifugal pump, which is the most common type used in ECMO. Nowadays, the next video will explain how it's work. Centrifugal pump 
work by creating pressure difference between center and the periphery, the center and the periphery. It's preload and afterload dependent, so the flow not related to the pump speed. It needs flow meter to measure the flow. It's non-occlusive pump, so when there is pump failure or any problem, it's necessary to, cal to clamp the circuit to prevent backward flow. Magnetically levitated pump, the magnetic force applied horizontally to, to ensure that impeller is held centrally in the plot. So that provides contact-free environment to minimize flood-related complication as a hemolysis. Here, table comparing between rural pump and centrifugal pump. Rural pump after loaded independent, so the circuit disruption will occur if there is excessive line pressure. It's occlusive pump, so no backflow will occur. As a result of the bending of the flow on revolution per minute or the speed of the pump, so no flow meter is required. It's cheap and short term use. Diffusion pump is afterload dependent, so it needs flow meter. Retrograde flow will occur if the pump stops at its non occlusive pump. It's long term use and portable but expensive. Complication of the pump, like pump thrombosis, like here there's many thrombosis, pump failure, retrograde flow, and air embolism. Another part of ECMO circuit is hand crank, which is manually work. When there is pump failure or power failure, we can use it till we adjust the problem. In modern ECMO console, it will provide integrated ECMO circuit monitor and safety capabilities like pressure circuit monitor, bubble detection, comprehensive alarm system, and servo regulation of the pump when a problem is detected. Flow meter is an external flow meter which is not present in all circuit, in some circuits present, uh, and others it will be integrated in the new ECMO console. It's ultrasonic and is measure flow in the especially with uh, when we use centrifugal pump. Besides these references, we also will depend on ELSO red book. Thanks for your listening and you can post your questions in the comments.